In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the difference between save and save as. Now, typically what you're going to do is launch a program and save the file from that program. And what I'm going to start with is uh, Microsoft Word. So we're going to create a Microsoft Word file. And we're going to save that file and we're going to just take a look at the difference between what saving means to us and what uh, the save as feature means to us. So I'm going to come down here and on my uh, on my taskbar I have uh, Microsoft Word loaded so I'm just going to left click on here and it's going to launch the program for me and once I have the program launched it just has document one up here on the left hand side as default so I'm just going to type uh, something here you know lesson and for IT 101 it's fine and I want to, once I've made changes to this document, I want to go ahead and save it. Um, so instead of document one, that's not a very um, realistic file name for myself to have. And I want to go ahead and place this in a location on Windows Explorer. So when you want to save a file, you're looking for two things. You're looking for a location to save it in your file structure which we talked about earlier and then you're looking to uh, attach a name to the file that you have because you don't want all your files named as document one document two document three and so on and so forth you want something that's relevant to what you've just created so in this case I'm gonna go to file menu up here and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna notice that I've got a save and save option now when I've created a new file what I want to do is save as this file because this is going to allow me to select my location and also create a file name for myself so I'm going to click save as and it go it will launch my Windows Explorer which is something we looked at before and it gives me some a default location and the default in Windows is set up to save to My Documents library, which is something that we looked up, looked at before. It's going to place all of these files in My Documents. Now, that's not something that I might necessarily want, so I want to maybe move this to a new location. So in this case, let's pick, um, go ahead and pick my C drive here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for myself in this C drive. So I'm going to go ahead and over here to the right hand side, create a new folder. So like create a new folder and I'll just label this um, computer classes and click uh, OK. And this folder is empty now. And now down here I've got a file name and Windows goes ahead and takes the first line of my document and applies that for a file name. Um, that's fine, but I'm going to clean it up just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just do LP for this. And I'll just get rid of the 4 and be LP IT 101. Fine for me. Then I also want to come down here and it's by default just a Word document, which is fine. And then when I click Save, it's going to save the lat location. And notice up at the top, it changes the file name to LPIT107. And if I were to take a look at Windows Explorer and launch that and go down to the C drive and actually find the um, find that folder that I created, it will show me that folder that I've just created for myself. Go down to C drive here and it will show me the, uh, what did I create, computer? Um, it shows me the computer classes folder and inside that particular folder it shows me that I've got LP IT 101. Let me close these items here and let's say I go ahead and continue to make more changes. Um, I'm going to make more changes here, add some more information. I want to save these changes as I move along. You want to save and save often. So I would simply, instead of doing a save as, since it's already saved to a location with that file name, as I make my changes, I would click Save instead. So now when I close this, and I will return back to the same location as before, 
computer classes, open this back up, I have my changes that I just most recently made in the same location. So save as is going to allow me to create a file name and a location and save will just automatically save over that current document with the changes that you made. So as you're working on a document that you've already saved, save is a good option for you. When you're creating a new document for yourself, save as is the appropriate selection.